Hi, this is Helen Fries and welcome to day five of creating positive energy in 10 days. And today is all about money. You definitely need to have a positive energy about you to attract money. And today I'm sharing how to work with positive energy to get you started. As you well know now, your beliefs create your reality. So the first thing to do is to ask yourself, what beliefs have been set up in me about money? What did my parents think about money? What did they do with it? What were their beliefs about spending and saving? Did they think it was a good thing to have lots of money or a burden? Your first beliefs about money were most likely formed in you from your parents or primary guardians. And don't dismiss these exercises. It will reveal your blueprint about your money belief. If you're waiting for friends, family, your wife, husband, partner, employer or employee to give you what you want, you're actually turning your power over to others. Give yourself permission to do what you want with your life. Decide to take action towards your goal. Believe in yourself. Begin to empower yourself and come up with ideas of how you can serve others, doing what you love and earning an income from it. It really is about getting creative. Write down why you deserve to have money. What could you do with it and how can you serve humanity with it? Money is not evil. Lots of good can be done with money. Now this is one of the beliefs that we've kind of had ingrained in us since we were children. Um, you know, I think in our parents' day and age, you know, times were tough and, and you know, it was, they were pretty hard done by and anyone with money was sort of envied and you know they would sort of say oh you know look at that bloke he's got so much money and, uh, uh, uh. and so it to us it gave us a feeling of oh anyone with money is bad and yeah it's um, all changing now you can help countless people by improving your own money situation so it's not just about having money for yourself it's about what you can do with it once you've done this for yourself, then you can go out and teach others how to do it. So again, another important point, you know, having money for yourself is um, a blessing because then you've got the money to go out and help others. Think positively about money. Let's think about how it is fun to have all the things you can do, how you can treat yourself to massages, how you can provide for your family, the vacations you can have, and the charities you can help. So having money isn't always all about just for ourselves. It's, it's about sharing it and helping others. Believe you can have what you want or desire and create the money for it and know why you deserve it. Now just because you're thinking positive, do, does that mean an unexpected bill won't come in? No, but it's all about how you feel when that happens. Instead of getting down and all depressed and worried about it, tell yourself, well, this was unexpected, but I'm not going to get down and worry about it. I'm going to stay positive. I'm going to sit down and work out a way to pay it. Because you know, often we'll get a bill and we're like, oh, how I can't afford this. And we go right down into that negative energy. We start worrying and start bringing the stress in. And it's about um, learning how to deal with when that comes in. Learning what to say. Learning how to, st to keep that positive attitude even when a bill arrives. Take responsibility for all that happens to you and trust that you come from a lavish, abundant world that wants to provide you with everything you desire. 
again that source that we are all come from it just wants to give us what we want it's only until we believe it and really get it into our psyche that we can let it allow it to happen know that there is a positive outcome on its way stay in the higher vibration of positive energy accept that yeah, there'll be challenges, but they're there to make you grow. Remember, we talked about that in an earlier video. Um, our challenges are our biggest blessings. They're there to make you expand, to help you step out of your comfort zone and to help you to begin changing your beliefs. Think of something that you wanted and received. Recall the feeling. Remember, we were always about the feeling here. The feeling you had before and after you received it. The positive thought about having it. Your inner knowing that you would have it. The joy when you received it. You manifest things naturally and automatically all the time by using your thoughts and feelings to create it. You just may not be aware of it. When you're thinking about something you're sure you'll receive, you create positive pictures in your mind. You see yourself having it and you don't worry about getting it. You intend to have it and you're motivated to take the action towards making it a reality, to bring it into your life. And that's what we want to create here, more of that. Start a new belief, a new habit. Start today to practice the skills above and make them your new belief. Then you'll be creating with positive energy to draw the money to you. So again, it's about you know affirming and visualizing, seeing what you want with that beautiful positive feeling within you. Firstly, get clear on what you want, how much you want and why you deserve it. I keep saying about deserving it, but unless you sort of tell yourself, look, you know, I am come from an abundant universe. I do deserve this. Everyone on the planet deserves it. And we're all equal. Once we start getting that sort of pattern of thinking happening, that's when um, attracting money or whatever it is you want becomes a lot, lot easier. Having what, having what you want is not luck that happens to some and not others it comes from having the tools to create what you want and a belief that you do deserve to have it so again remember bring in the belief bring in the positive energy think about what you want in a loving beautiful fun exciting way you know tell yourself it's coming it's it's on its way and um, I'm sure that you will have a lot more money in your hot little hands before you know it. So that's day five. And I hope you enjoyed this lesson for, the, for today. And I will catch you tomorrow.